Big up, big up to each and every one of you. This is your boy, Mark Kent. Shout out to everyone. Shout out to all of you legends that, you know, come in, show your support. Big up to each and every one. Thank you so much. I just wanted to share my thanks for all the times you guys have supported me in everything. Supported me from the moment I started this channel onwards in the journey. Now we're on past 1K, going to 2K fast, aiming for 10K. Yeah, my birthday is in December, so hopefully I might get there in time. Maybe Man United Fortunes may be taking an upturn, guys. And you, are, everyone knows that I backed Eric Ten Hag as the manager of Man United for the last two seasons through thick and thin. That's just who I am. If I back you, I will back you to the end. You know what I mean? Because everyone needs someone in their corner when it's their darkest moments. Sometimes when the going gets tough and you yourself can't see a way in or out of that situation or the little light at the end of the tunnel. You know, everyone hopes to have someone that's going to be right there to say, hey, don't give up. Believe in you, man. We got you. You know what I'm saying? So that was just my thing. You know, I did see and feel that, you know, we are on a verge of scoring lots of goals and maybe I was right. Maybe I was just seeing things. But tonight there was 5-2, which I predicted against Leicester. You can go check me on the Reckless Delegates with KG, the comedian. You know what I mean? I did say 5-2 in my predictions. <laughs> These guys laughed. They said, what are you talking about? Where are the goals coming from? But guys, I'm telling you, we've been creating lots and lots of chances. The problem was confidence and clinicality. Clinicality can be up one day, could be down the next sometimes. But once confidence is gained, the, the premise of clinicality goes up percentages. So I'm expecting this team to do wonders, you know, to improve. There will be some games of fluctuation. And as we transition without Tentog, it's a situation where I say to each and every one of you, he did do some good things. Let's not forget that. He won us the FA Cup. Big up to him. Big up to him for that. He did come in in his first season. He came third, played two cup finals. He won us a Carabao. Of course, we didn't win the FA Cup. But we got to win it the following season. We had a tumultuous last season, which he probably could not recover from. As you can see, he was sacked before he really could recover from it. So while I think he may have recovered, he wasn't able to in reality because he got sacked. But what I would like to say to the fans is, as a United fan, a red to a red, we need to protect our manager against the media. We cannot allow the media to disrespect, to derogate, defecate, defamate our manager and disrespect them the way they belittle Ten Hag. We must not let another manager face that sort of incompetence, envy, hate, negativity. Who cares if it's the media or not, guys? They need to have a certain sense of respect and class. And that was no way to treat someone. Whether you like him or dislike him, you know what I mean? There's no need to treat someone so poorly. And this is why I would say to the fan base, we are all united at the end of the day. Your mistakes are my mistakes. My mistakes might be yours. We're going to support each other through thick and thin because we're Manchester United fans. We immediately friends when we meet because we're Manchester United fans. And sure, some of us backed the manager, some of you didn't, some of you were in the middle, neutral. You know, we are still all one. We still have the same dream, United going to the top. So while I felt like for me, honestly, in my genuine self, I have to say to Ten Hag, yo, thank you, man. 
You know what I mean? I hadn't seen trophies, small or big, in six years. You brought me two back to back, a good season and a bad one. I did hope that you could have turned it around, but you didn't get the chance to, or you didn't give yourself the time to. I can't say from just my perspective. I have to say it from the perspective of some of the other fans that feel like you didn't give yourself the chance. But if you happen to watch this video, Ten Hag, Thank you, man. I respect you. You told me you're going to bring me the FA Cup. You told me back you. The team is going to bring me the FA Cup. And you walked in there like a general with, a, with, with your army behind you and you brought the fans the FA Cup. You're a man of your word, Ten Hag. And that integrity, money can't buy, bro. I hope you have a great one. I know you're probably heartbroken up because... You didn't expect this coming. Even though there was noise, we know it. We, uh, some of us, like you, thought there was a long road back and we we're willing to go through the trenches. But it got too tough and the structure pulled the plug. Now, we move root interim on to Amarim. Guys, we need to back this new manager. If the road is tough, if the road is long, if he got a five-year contract, we got to stay strong. Big up to each and everyone watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Big up. It's your boy, Mark. And don't forget, share the channel around. Smash a like and subscribe. And while I play some of my outros and intros for the last time, guys, big up to each and every one of you because you know what? I couldn't do this without you. So thank you. And don't forget, guys, we're here every day bringing you the latest news, transfers, updates, statistics, tactical news and scouting and stay tuned there's lots to come big up to all of you thank you for watching hope you have a great night or good morning big up from your boy mark n and let's united move you know what i mean the new era is here it's upon us let's go big up to all of you guys i'll catch you later it's been your boy mark n mufc fan you know what it is guys catch you later Oh, 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 oh,